Hi guys, it's in Jacksmore featuring in Dynamo and welcome back to my Taglish channel. Hi guys, how are you on every side of our universe? Now today we are going to be unboxing the DJI Action 2 and also the Action 2 Remote Extension Control Pod. I was just after, <laughs> it's pretty much just the tripod of a selfie stick that goes along with it. So pretty much it's got um, a power button, or oh, sorry, I think one's, one's a video, one's a uh, photo button. Um, so you can use it as a selfie stick and also it's just screwing to the bottom. And we've got the DJI Action 2. So this one comes with, um, it's the second screen and also inside the screen it's got a battery pack as well. So it pretty much expands the, um, the battery uh, capacity of uh, the Action 2 there. So let's um, unbox this and see what's inside. So how can I open this without damaging the box? I think down here, ooh, so gentle. So sharp. Yeah, looks like it just comes up and then comes around. I won't aim it towards me, I'll aim it away. There we go, up comes the plastic. Oh yeah, ASMR. Oh. Okay, so now, will you ready? Drum rolls. Okay, <laughs> there we go. So it's got instructions of um, the app, which I think the Mimo app might be the one we currently use for OM4, by memory. Oh, there you go. It gives you some instructions of how to attach it to the lanyard around your neck. So first off, we have, oh, there's a whole lot of stuff in here. So we have a quick start guide. So I'm guessing that just tells us, yeah, the different attachments and how to set it up. We have the safety guidelines. This is a warranty, I'm guessing. There's a lot of different languages in here. I don't, can't read any of them. Um, yes. I was going to, oh, here we go. Here's some Italian. Uh, per questo prodotto delle serie DJI. <laughs> okay, sounds like I'm speaking Tagalog, but it's Italian. Uh, we've got some stickers here. So, DJI stickers. Uh, so, this is actually here. So, uh, what can I use as a reference? We don't be bananas. Okay, here we go. So, probably. The, so, this is the, the main camera of uh, DJI Action 2. It's pretty much the size of my watch. So, I mean, you can see there. It's pretty much the size of my watch itself. So it actually is quite tiny. Also we get just take this off here. So that's actually got a screen on the back there. And then on the front we've got the lens. So if we can get in there. I'm not quite sure what the little small, if that's a second lens there. So yeah, it actually feels nice in the hand. I think it might be like aluminium. Uh, kind of feels there yeah, metallic. Um, and it's cool as well. So I think there might be four microphones built into this. Or maybe it's the one below it. But yeah, you've got a shutter button there. I'm guessing if I press that a couple of times, it would turn on. So this is the sort of like the expansion. So this is actually a second screen. Um, and it's also, I think, got a battery built into it as well. So by plugging this screen into the top on there. Oh, there we go. It actually magnetized and snapped into place. Let's do that again. Oh, it's alive. So, oh, see, it snaps in place. It's got little arms there. So pretty much if you're aiming this at yourself, you can use this second screen here as like a selfie mirror or actually use a screen so you can actually see what the camera's recording. And then on the back, if you're aiming this at a subject, then you can use this screen as well to see what you're aiming at. So based on when I took that off, we're at like 3%, so it looks like we have to charge it up before we can really use it. So let's see what else is in the box. So yeah, in terms of now, 
I mean, it kind of fits in the palm of your hand like that way. And it, again, like width wise, it's the size of my watch. So we'll just put that there along with all the paperwork. So we'll start at the bottom here. Looks like it's all sort of sticky, so I might just have to cut it open. I don't know if it's a magnetized or not. Yeah, we'll figure out what my needs. It could be the lanyard as well. No, it's a screw on there. That might be something if you're plugging into a tripod adapter. Oh, okay, yeah. So it looks like that screws into that. I can't tell if this is just like a little small stand or if it's a tri yeah, the tripod adapter. There we go. So it screws in like that. So it's got like a ball in there as well. So you can adjust that based on what you want to aim at. So I think again, this... Oh, so that's actually, even though you can't see it, this is also magnetized. You can see here how it actually will snap into place. And then it just sits up like that. So you can see there, those little arms lock into it. But even the side of that, it's actually quite heavily strong magnetized. So right now there's no arms on it, but it's actually staying still. So I think that there is the, the tripod, um, I think it's a ball adapter. So you can, again, all you do to take it off is that. So unlike, um, was the, the uh, not the, yeah, the GoPros. The GoPros, you always have to undo that screw on the side. So here, it's really just a, yeah, it's magnetized and you actually just press those two together and it pops out. So this must be part of the lanyard up here. So we've got a charge cable, uh, USB-C. So again, you can probably charge this up with your normal phone charger. Be oh, be careful on this one because it feels, it feels like the lanyard. Yeah, so we've got the lanyard here. So again, this can go around your neck and I'll, I'll demonstrate it soon once I get the other piece out. Oh, that seems magnetized as well. It actually stuck straight to the cord here. So we've got a second piece here. So this here looks to be the adapter for if you actually want to put it on the GoPro mount. So in the car, we already have like a Go, GoPro mount stuck down there. So it looks like now we can actually just put this onto that. And again, this here magnetizes it on. And it looks like it actually only goes one way as well because when I held it here, it won't go down. So it looks like it actually does have like a polarity. So now if you want to aim this in front of a car, you just put that on here and hold it up like this and it will record. So it looks like that there, um, I'll pop this out again. So it looks like he, I think he might be able to actually put two, um, two memory cards in here. I'll have to check the instruction booklet, but it looks like that there is a memory card slot on there. Um, but there must be a, I think he can actually use two. So I have to figure out how to actually get a, this um, one in here. But I'm guessing if there's a memory card slot there, only this top one would be waterproof, but the bottom one's not. Like, say, if you were to use this underwater, you could, in theory, carry it like this and use it like that. Um, but I don't think it's waterproof once you add the second one on in the shab, um, the, like an extra case. So in terms of a lanyard, I'm not sure if it works with um, the whole assembly or just for, just for one. So it looks like that goes vertically like this. And then maybe the... Yeah, it looks like it's upside down. Because that will go up like this. Yeah, but if I hang that from my neck, it's going to be upside down. <laughs> or I think it's maybe because you have to put it through your clothing. Let me see. I don't think it's back to front. 
So it's up like this here. Maybe I have to double check. But I feel like yes! Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like Iron Man. I have to check. Um, I mean, it's hard to even know if that's actually like the right way up or upside down this way. Um, feels okay. I mean, it is only magnetized on, so you probably don't want to be like fully sprinting or running with this on. But for if you're just like walking around briefly, it kind of feels alright. So we'll take this lanyard off. Looks like, um, yeah, it looks like you can shrink it or even make it larger. Yeah, you can actually make it even bigger than what I had it on. So again, you can adjust the length of the lanyard. So, here, so will be the control extension. So I think this is a very fancy selfie stick, this one. So it looks like inside the box it's just packing and I think that's there is just the, um, the, like, I was going to say the odour eater for the one which is meant to stop humidity. So this is just the instruction booklet for the DJI Action 2 remote control extension rod. So there's all, um, looks like it just Bluetooths to the, the Osmo Action. So there's a, I think a video, it photos, and I think it does have a screen on there as well. Um, so I think you might be able to actually kind of see like a status on the selfie stick of like what's going on on the camera itself. So show yeah! So we've got the, like a tripod you can set it up as. So if you have it like set on a table and stuff. Oh, there we go. So that comes up from there. So you can set it up like this. And again, I think to use that, you might just need to put it on this um, this particular mount over here. So I think to use it, you'll probably just put that onto that. So just spit it on, and then you can then, I think, tighten it using this. Oh, so there it goes. So that there just comes out from there. And then, figure it out there you go so you can just put it onto that grab this so shard so maybe we've got a little selfie stick um, not sure if this will turn on or if it actually needs charging stuck in my hand. so it looks like this comes out oh, okay so USB-C as well charging so it looks like here yeah, you just charge it up and then that will work, communicate with this. So I'll have to read the instruction booklet of how to work this. There's a pairing button here, but I think it just needs to be charged. Um, so yeah, that's the camera on the selfie stick. Um, now it looks like as well, if you do have it on the selfie stick. Yeah, so it needs to be charged. So we're going to do a demonstration right now, but we'll um, get it set up. Um, and you're bound to see some footage coming up as well that we'll be recording on this. So that's as quick as it is. So, so if you want to, you got it here. You want to put it on a tripod. Snap. That's it. So we'll go. Um, yeah, we'll go um, charge this up, and we'll do a demonstration once it actually is charged up. Uh, in terms of some of the features, um, so Dynamo currently has the, uh, the Osmo Action One. I guess the first generation one which works really well, um, but I think we needed a second camera. So if we're in the car, we can have one camera sh aiming straight ahead, and we can also have this other one here, which we can have looking at ourselves inside the car, or at least have one we can actually use while the other one's still mounted on the, like doing a time-lapse on the dashboard, or we don't have to like keep taking in and out. Um, so yeah, it's got like magnetic uh, versatility, it's saying here, um, does 4K in 120 frames per second, so good if you're doing uh, slow motion, but you can actually get um, like the full resolution. It's saying portable and wearable, so that's probably referring to the lanyard. Um, horizon steady. Um, that refers to more of a rock steady. So if you're um, sort of maybe on a bike and you're turning it, it will actually keep the the picture in the, like in the background. It actually will keep that steady. So not only does it stabilize like your hand movements, but it actually will keep the skyline or the horizon steady as well so it's just yeah less shake and makes for a lot better quality footage um dual oled uh, touch screen so just better quality screens on the camera itself 
and the main part there is 10 meters waterproof so if you're taking um, the main camera underwater you don't have to necessarily put it inside a case and then yeah in terms of contents we've got the action 2 we've got the front touchscreen module the magnetic adapter mount so that's this one here so again you can just put that onto um, an existing mount from GoPro got the power cable so just the standard USB so you still need like a power brick to, uh, to charge it uh, the magnetic lanyard and the magnetic ball joint magnet uh, adapter mount so let me test this out if I put this on the fridge we'll see if it's magnetized or not oh okay so that, <laughs> this here itself that's just an adapter to sit it down on something so that's actually not magnetic yeah that's not magnetic there that there's just like an adapter piece oh yeah that's it here so if you have a tripod set up um that's usually got like a thread on the top so yeah this is a magnetic ball mount adapter mount so this will actually um that will go like on the top of a tripod if you set it up for i guess a longer shoot otherwise yeah you can always use this as a tripod as well I don't think you have to spin the whole thing, I think you just do this and then you can lock it in place of what direction you want to be aiming at. So probably like that, keeps twisting and then you can yeah, aim it out or whatever you do normally, so you can aim it ahead of you, aim it up and yeah it's not too heavy either in terms of in the hand, I mean this is with a selfie stick, it's yeah it's easy, it doesn't feel like it's going to wobble out of your hand. The ball mount there is uh, quite rigid, so it's, yeah, it actually is, yeah, quite stabilised and, yeah, it doesn't feel floppy at all. And if that feels, yeah, like a good mount, I mean, it's got the arms there, plus even, yeah, like I said before, even without the arms itself, the magnetic um, hold there is actually quite strong. So if I help touch this, I don't think it's going to... I don't think it's going to turn on just because I think yeah like I said the bottom is at three percent up for the top maybe even lower so I'll go away charge this up and we'll come back um, a bit later on so guys Bulaga. so guys uh, we've been using the DJI's mode now for probably a month or so I can't remember when we actually bought it and where we bought it from it's been a while um, so we've been using this predominantly for most of our videos. Granted, um, oh, we haven't got a thing. Uh, when we have uh, the little tripod on it, I can pretty much walk around and just carry it around like this. It's actually very easy. We still use the Osmo uh, Action 1 uh, inside the car, usually for the time lapses and stuff, but this is the one we predominantly use as we walk around. So um, I think last week or so, when we were in Shepparton, I bought a couple more, actually not Shepparton. I did buy from, I bought, the case from Shepparton, so this is actually the protective case because the case itself of a normal Osmo is really just aluminium. Um, so it actually does get warm, so I think this here protects it, but it also helps to uh, dissipate heat as well. So really this just slots on like this here, and same as the bottom one there. So um, when we're in Melbourne, we got these from the DJI store itself. So we have the power module, which is just another expandable battery on uh, the bottom here. Um, so when you run out of battery, all you need to do is just clip that off and put that one on. Oh, it's actually already magnetized <laughs> in the box. And we've got protective case as well. So I think the Osmo itself is waterproof when it's like in this format, but once you have the, uh, put the bottom on and it's got an SD card slot there, a charge port, it does become waterproof. So there's a case here that it just goes over both of them and that will make sure it's waterproof. So today we're just gonna unbox these couple of parts um, and we'll put the case on as well. It is raining outside today, so it might be a good opportunity to actually test it out. Granted, I'm not gonna be dipping it in any water, um, but I guess just the splashes and stuff like that there, it's, you can try it out. So really inside the box of the power module, there's really just an instruction booklet, which I mean, there's not really many instructions of, well, there's not really anything you have to do to it anyway. And yeah, inside it's really just hollow. It's quite a big box for what they put inside of it, but I guess it's for protection. So we'll have to charge this up. Um, but in reality, um, once it's charged up, you probably just need to put an SD card slot. Oh, it's already showed a light. So yeah, it's pretty much the same as the, 
the bottom here um, in regards to you got an SD card slot there we go at the back here so you put your SD card slot at the back the charge ports in the exact same part there as well and then yeah we don't often use the selfie screen at the front there anyway so even if you switch it out we mostly just use the back anyway to record because we hold it going forward we don't really talk to the camera like this we usually just aim it forward so I've got the case on that now, but really, so when this one shows that it's a low on battery, all I should have to do is just unclick, get this up, and clip that back on. Which maybe I'll have to do that if, if I put the case on. So yeah, that just clips back on like up there, and then you're ready to go for a, I can't remember exactly how long of a life, it could be a couple of hours. It's a while anyway, so now um, I'll pop these out just in preparation, because we may need to do this anyway for when I put the waterproof case on. I don't think that will go over here, I think that will be separate. So this one here pops out easy enough. Maybe I'll leave it onto the side, I'm not sure how you pop this case off, it seems pretty... Oh, there you go, you just pretty much just pop it forward. <laughs> it comes forward and then it goes up the top, there you go. So yeah, we've got the... That's like the front screen module there, which does have extended battery life. Uh, then you've got the battery module there, which has a greater um, battery life than what this one here does. And so we've got the protective screen here. And I think this, actually I've never fit it, so I'm not too sure how it fits on yet. I'm guessing it goes over the entire thing. Um, so inside we just have another instruction booklet. There's nothing much there. We have, um, good question what this is, here is. I might have to read the instructions. It looks like some wipes or maybe stickers. Um, yeah, so it looks like the whole unit just goes in. I'm not too sure what they're used for because they're not actually mentioned in the instructions. That says it here, so anti-fog inserts. I think you put them on the side of the unit and that probably just stops help the condensation once it's in there. So we take it off. So that's actually the front of the back. Camera button facing, pointing forward. Okay. So in terms of everything, that's actually the back. Like if that looks like it would be the front, but that's actually the back. So I'll make this, I won't put um, protective case on here. So I'll just get the, the unit here because this will look like the best one. So you got the case here and all you do is just drop it in. So you'll get those anti-fog inserts and they'll just go on the side here. And then all you do is just close the back and then you snap that and then we're back to normal. So you've got the front screen there if you're doing the selfies, you've got the normal camera there. You've got the back screen here. So it looks like with the, um, this here, I've gone back to a straight, like the GoPro mount at the bottom here. So you just put on a selfie stick or you can still carry it around like this anyway. Cause I don't think the, I'm not sure if it, um, the touch screen works. Um, yeah, while it's underwater, the touch screen doesn't work. So you can still fire it off and uh, record your video as you would normally there. You've got your side button here, which connects to the bottom. Um, so yeah, it looks like it's similar to other ones. I mean, while you're under, underwater, you can't press the buttons anyway. So um, yeah, that fully encapsulates it. I can't remember exactly how deep you can go with this. Doesn't say on the box. But yeah, it's completely waterproof and you can have both modules uh, at the one time. So the screens are fully, um, yeah, you can easily see them pretty brightly. And I guess once it's underwater, you can then, yeah, still turn it on and off as is. So guys, I hope you enjoy these, um, these accessories. I don't yeah. think there's really much more you can buy for the action too, apart from maybe just a few extra mounts. Um, but I mean, we've got the selfie stick, we've got the magnetic mount, um, we've got the, the mount which connects the bottom here to like a GoPro mount outside of this here. So yeah, I think we've got everything we sort of need now. Now we can actually go underwater with confidence now, but yeah, it's not gonna get water in it. So guys, hope you enjoy.
So, that's it guys. That's our DJI Action 2 Dual Screen Combo. Kasi meron siyang other one guys. So, the other one is the DJI Action 2 Power Combo. So, yung aking kanina nakita nyo guys is the DJI Action 2 Dual Screen Combo. So, eto na siya guys. Oh, I will show you. So, nakita nyo yung in-unbox ni Jack. So, this is our latest uh, camera. So, ayan na siya guys. So, eto siya. Nakita niyo siya guys. Ayan na siya. So, it's a clip guys. It's a very magnetic if you can see. Oh, uh, diba? Clip siya lang guys. So, this is the uh, DJI Action 2 Dual Screen Combo. So, nakita niyo they also have a selfie. So, kapag ganyan ang camera guys, may kita niyo yun nandito sa harapan yung face niyo. Kasi yung iba kasi ay yung uh, power combo lang guys. So, yung power combo lang is like this. I will show you the other uh, comparison ng no other uh, power combo. So, yung power combo is only the battery. So, ayan lang siya guys. Ayan lang talaga siya. Camera lang talaga siya. Ito yung battery sa bottom. Yung sinabi ni Jax kanina. And we bought another battery kasi kapag nalolobat yung selfie. Kapag ito nalobat guys, battery din siya. Pero kapag nalobat to, at least meron kaming uh, extra. ba So, this is the power combo kapag bumili kayo guys. So, they also have a different prices. Uh, depends kung power combo yung bibili nyo. And kapag... Uh, dual screen combo. So, kapag dual screen, of course, meron siyang selfie. This is the selfie, guys. Ayan. Nakita nyo? People of the universe. So, ayan. So, nakita nyo kanina yung mga nasa loob ng box. So, kanina nakita nyo ang ating uh, touch screen. Ito yung touch screen, guys. Pwede nyo rin siyang i-touch dyan. Anytime kapag naka-on siya. So, we have a magnetic lanyard. So, magnetic lanyard, guys, para kang matrix na nakalagay kanina sa uh, neck ni Jack. Tapos, kapag pumasok yun, guys, ilalagay mo siya. Pwede ka spy ba kapag nag-walking. This is good if you're in a walking uh if you niche in your youtube is yes, a walking so walking tour guys this is very advisable now you need to buy this kind of uh, action camera it's good quality also it's dji but disclaimer this is not as sponsored so nakita nyo kanina yung inano ni drugs so anyways the next one is we have the ball joint uh adapter mount so yung ball joint ito yun guys nakita nyo so, ayan yan. May ball doon sa loob. Nakita niya. It's also a magnetic. So, it's also magnetic also, guys. Palagi nag-clip yun. Nakikita niyo, guys. So, nakiklik siya. Tapos, eto, pwede siyang ilagay sa mga, uh, what you call that one? Sa mga mirror surface. So, kapag may helmet kayo, pwede dito. Pwede sa mga car nyo, guys. This is a good for the car. So, for inside the car and outside the car, if you have a bicycle, motorbike, this is very good also because this is a stick on. So, natatanggal siya sa airplane and many more. So, na pwede siyang ilagay. So, the next one, we have the... Um, Power cable, of course, and then the magnetic adapter. So, eto, guys, pwede naman siyang ganyan. Tapos, bilalagyan nyo siya ng ganito, yung parang screw type naman siya. And then, you can do the tripod. Also, we also have the extension remote control rod. So, pwede nyo naman siya ilagay dito, guys. So, eto naman, pwede siya gamitan yung isa natin kanina, which is the ball joint. So, here, I will show you the ball joint. Natatanggal yan, guys. Ayan, natatanggal siya. So, ayan, natatanggal siya. You can remove it. And then, you can put it here. So, narorotate siya, guys. So, kapag narorotate siya, ayan na yung labas niya. So, yes. Bilis, ba <laughs> So, ayan na. So, ayan na siya, diba? Para na siyang tripod. Meron na siyang uh, controller. Remote control, guys. Meron siyang on and off and recording. Kung hindi mo na siya ipipress dito sa touch screen mo, pwede naman siya dito sa iyong remote control rod. So, ayun ang ating extension for today, guys. Ayun ang ating unboxing sa ating DJI Action 2 Dual Screen Combo na ginagamit namin siya ngayon, guys. It's very convenient for us. It's very small. Hindi katulad ng mga camera natin before 
before. And then yung DJI talaga nag evolve sila ng upgrade sila, ng bago mga camera nila, ng bago action uh, camera nila. And another, this is not a sponsor. So, Jax bought like uh, 590 plus uh, AUD. So, in US, it costs like $399. So, in Philippine Casa, it's $2,100 plus Twenty one thousand guys, so it's kind of affordable naman kapag uh, inipon na natin. Pero maganda naman kasi ang quality guys. Yeah! And if, if you haven't yet check all my unboxing, I got a lot of DJI products na we are using for my videos. Maganda talaga yung quality niya. Wag lang ako ang mag-videographer and mag-camera woman. Kasi talagang iba yung aking pag-videographer. Pag si Jax, guys, may kita nyo ang uh, quality ng ating camera. So, anyways, I will put their links in my description box down below and you can check it out for yourself. Our DJI Action 2 dual screen combo for today's video. I hope you enjoy watching. You learn something to die. Plus, you high five for today's video guys thank you very much for watching thank you for supporting my videos and my love shout out to each wonderful beautiful people of the universe thank you from the bottom of my hypothalamus please like if you did enjoy my video for today yeah. and please subscribe if you haven't yet yeah. and don't forget to hit the bell button for you to get notified on my next video yeah. and please comment down below if you like this video pa. Yeah. see you and I'll see you on my next one bye bye guys be good you take care be safe and Ciao la!